If you're looking to get the Galaxy S22 Ultra, this video is for you. I'm covering the best deals available from Samsung, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile for both new customers, existing customers, and families. Now, if you're lazy, or as I like to think of it, time efficient, you can already find all of the deals linked in the video description. But make sure you stick around to the end of the video to hear which deal I think is best. And with that said, let's dive into it. Getting the best deal starts by getting the most money for your old device. To help you out, I compared current resale and trade-in values from Swappa, Samsung, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. No surprise here, you get the most trade-in value by going with a deal from the major carriers. That said, there are three things I want you to know here. Thing number one is Samsung's trade-in credit is really good. Typically, you do get more money by selling your phone on Swappa, but there are some instances where Samsung is giving you more money, and let's be honest, doing a trade-in deal with Samsung is a lot easier than having to take time to take photos of your device, create a listing, and ship it out with Swappa. That said, there are definitely horror stories online of Samsung claiming they received a different device than the one you sent, the device arriving damaged, or the device getting lost in shipping. So definitely do whatever you feel comfortable with. Thing number two, speaking of trading your device into Samsung, the trade-in credit you get actually varies based on which phone you buy. When you buy the Galaxy S22 Ultra, you'll get $700 of trading credit for your S21 Ultra. But when you go to buy the regular S22, you'll only get $590 for it. Definitely check Samsung's website to see how much credit you'll get based on the phone you have and the phone you want to buy. In some cases, as with the S21 Ultra, it may make more sense to sell the phone on Swappa if you plan to buy the baseline S22. And the third thing is these are the maximum trade-in values. The actual value you'll get depends on three things. What device you're trading in, what plan you're on, and if you're a new or existing customer. Thankfully, I outline the specific trade-in values starting right now with a deal from Verizon. Verizon's first deal is up to $1,000 off with the trade-in of an old or damaged phone. This deal is available for new customers who sign up on 5G Play More, 5G Do More, or 5G Get More. These plans range from $80 to $90 per month for a single line, and the term of this agreement is 3 years or 36 months. Your monthly phone payments will come out to about $5.55, and your 2-year total, which includes the full cost you pay for the device and 2 years of phone service, it comes out to $2,120. The eligible devices for this trade-in promo are the Galaxy S21+, Plus, S20+, Plus, and some of the more premium Galaxy phones, as well as the Pro model iPhones. The second deal Verizon offers is basically the same, but it's $800 off, and this is because it includes older devices. Your more entry-level S21, S20, S20 FE, S10, as well as the entry-level iPhones. Two changes here is because you're getting less trade-in credit, your monthly phone payments are about $11.11 .11 per month, and your two-year total is $2,320. The third deal Verizon offers is $400 off, and this again is because they're including older devices. You only need to trade in a Galaxy S7 or newer or an iPhone 6 or newer to get this promo. Again, you're getting less credit, so your phone payments increase to $22.22 .22 per month over the three-year agreement, and your two-year total comes up to $2,720. Now, you might be asking, what if I'm an existing Verizon customer? And Verizon has you covered. If you're an existing customer, you can get up to $1,000 off with the trade-in of an old or damaged phone. This is for existing customers, but it's only available on the 5G Get More plan. This is $90 per month. Again, this is a three-year agreement or 36 months, and you'll end up paying about $5.55 per month to finance the phone. Your two-year total comes out to $2,360, and the eligible devices are surprisingly the entry-level Galaxy S21, as well as the more premium Galaxy phones and the Pro model iPhones. But what if you're not on 5G Get More? Well, Verizon cuts your deal in more than half. You're only getting up to $440 off with the trade-in. This again is for existing customers, but this time on 5G Play More or 5G Do More, which are a little bit more affordable at $80 per month for a single line, your phone payments end up being around $21.11 per month, and your two-year total is $2,680. And again, the eligible devices are the same as before, the entry-level Galaxy S21, otherwise the more premium Galaxy phones, 
and the Pro model iPhones. Those are the deals from Verizon. Now onto a deal from AT&T. AT&T only offers one deal, and it's $800 off with the trade-in of any Galaxy phone in any condition. This trade-in deal is a phenomenal option for those of you who have been hanging on to older Galaxy devices. And it may even make sense to buy a phone on Swappa, like a Galaxy S5 for 50 bucks, to use specifically for this trade-in. This deal is available for both new and existing customers. If you're a new customer, you need to sign up on Unlimited Extra or Unlimited Elite. And if you're an existing customer, some of the older plans will work too. The plan cost is $75 a month for Extra, $85 per month for Elite. And like Verizon, the agreement is three years or 36 months. You'll end up paying about $11.11 per month to finance the phone, and your two-year total is $2,200. Now you might be wondering, why is this two-year total less than some of the totals from Verizon? And quite simply, it's because AT&T Unlimited Extra is $75 per month, and the extra savings from the plan cost add up so your total is less over time. The eligible devices for this deal are literally any phone that has the word Galaxy in the name, or the iPhone 8 or newer. Now, please do double check with AT&T, but yeah, a whole lot of phones are eligible for this promo, and it's a fantastic value, especially if you've got an older device. Next, let's take a look at the deals from T-Mobile. The first deal is $1,000 off with a trade-in. This is available for both new and existing customers who sign up or switch to T-Mobile Magenta Max. This is T-Mobile's most expensive plan at $85 per month, but unlike Verizon and AT&T, the term is only two years or 24 months. Because the financing term is a little bit shorter though, you'll end up paying a little bit more per month, $8.33. Your two year total is $2,240. And the eligible devices are again, the more premium Galaxy phones, S21+, Plus, S20+, Plus, and the Pro model iPhones. The next deal is $800 off with a trade-in. This is basically the same as before, but it's for those older and more entry-level devices. Your S20, your S10, your Note 10, etc., and the entry-level iPhones, iPhone 10 or newer. The next deal is $400 off with trade-in, and this is for your older devices, your Galaxy S7 or newer, or your iPhone 6 or newer. Again, this is still exclusive to T-Mobile Magenta Max. It's a two-year contract. You're paying about $33.33 .33 per month to finance the phone, and your two-year total is $2,840. Now, I know what you're thinking, what if I'm not on T-Mobile Magenta Max? Thankfully, T-Mobile has some deals for you, but unfortunately, they cut your trade-in credit in half. Check it out, $1,000 off from Magenta Max is down to $500 off for T-Mobile Essentials or Magenta customers. The eligible devices are the same here. You're spending about $29.16 per month to finance the phone, and your two-year total, $2,140. The next deal was $800 off, and that drops to just $400 off with trade-in for Essentials or Magenta customers. The last deal, $400 off with trade-in, you guessed it, drops to just $200 off with trade-in, and this is for those older devices, your Galaxy S7 or newer, or your iPhone 6 or newer. You end up spending $41.66 per month to finance the phone, and your two-year total is $2,440. So those are the deals from the major carriers, but how do they stack up? Let's compare them side by side by side. Here you can see all the deals available, and if we organize these by price over two years, again, including the full cost you pay for the phone and two years of service, you can see Verizon's deal for new customers where you're getting $1,000 off with a trade-in ends up being the most affordable. It's just $2,120. Next, as a surprise, we have T-Mobile's deal for Essentials customers. Even though you're only getting $500 off, the Essentials plan is only $60 per month, and you end up saving quite a lot of money on that difference. Right in the middle, we have AT&T's deal, then we have T-Mobile's deal for Magenta Max customers, which you guessed it, ends up being more expensive because the Magenta Max plan is so much more expensive. And in last, we have Verizon's deals for existing customers. So yes, Verizon is rewarding you, loyal existing customers, with the most expensive deals available on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. But what if there were better deals available? It turns out there are, and we're covering them right now. On the Verizon network, you can actually grab a deal from Xfinity Mobile. You can get $400 off the S22 Ultra with no trade-in required. This is available on all Xfinity plans, and using the $30 3 gig plan as an example, your two-year total comes out to just $1,520. 
You save a whopping $600 over the course of two years compared to a deal from Verizon. And this really goes to show how getting an affordable plan can save you money in the long run. Next, we have a deal from US Mobile. Even if you get $0 off the S22 Ultra and end up paying full price, US Mobile's $15 plan means your two-year total for the phone and service ends up being just $1,560. Again, about $600 less than the cheapest option from Verizon. And if you do need unlimited data, you could consider this deal from Visible. They're currently offering a $200 gift card, and let's say you get about $200 by selling your old phone on Swappa, your two-year total, thanks to this $25 unlimited plan, ends up being just $1,400. That's the cheapest deal we've seen so far, but if you wanted something even cheaper, you could consider doing the trade-in deal with Samsung directly. On average, you're getting about $318 of trade-in credit with Samsung, and because you're getting an unlocked device, you can use it on a plan from US Mobile Visible or another prepaid carrier. If we factor in Samsung's discount and use US Mobile as an example, your total comes out to just $1,242, again, for the full price of the phone and for two years of service. But does the same thing ring true on the AT&T network? You guessed it, it 100% does. Great options to consider here are Red Pocket or AT&T prepaid. You end up spending $1,602 with a plan from Red Pocket, their $30 10 gig plan. And if you do need unlimited data, you can even upgrade to AT&T's prepaid unlimited plus plan. It's currently 50 bucks a month and you still save money compared to AT&T. Your two year total, just $2,082. And on the T-Mobile network, you can consider great options from Mint Mobile. Their four gig plan is just 15 bucks a month. This is the plan I personally use. And with Samsung's trading credit, your two year total is just $1,242. Compared to T-Mobile, these plans save you over $500 in just two years. Finally, if you do need unlimited data, you could grab T-Mobile Prepaid's $50 unlimited plan. Even though the plan is more expensive, you still save money in comparison to going with T-Mobile Postpaid. So now that we've looked at even more affordable options, how does everything stack up? Well, taking a look at the full comparison here, and you can see Visible is in the lead with one of the cheapest plans available, especially for unlimited data. Then we have Mint Mobile's unlimited plan, Red Pocket's 10 gig plan, actually tied with Mint, and then in last, you have the deals from the postpaid carriers. So my main takeaway for you is to ask yourself, can I consider switching to a prepaid carrier? Doing the trade-in deal directly with Samsung and going with a prepaid carrier like Visible, like Mint Mobile, like US Mobile can end up saving you a lot of money over two years because your monthly cell phone bill is just so much less per month. But what about for families? This isn't exactly a fair comparison as a lot of people are on family plans and that reduces the cost of AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon by quite a lot. Well, I'm glad you asked. Here is the family plan comparison with the prices from AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon. And if we reorganize these, you can see the results actually flip. T-Mobile's Magenta Max deal ends up being the most affordable option here with your two-year total coming out to $1,040. Then we have AT&T and then we have Visible. But do keep in mind, if you go with one of the postpaid plans, you're locked into a two year or three year financing agreement. You won't be able to upgrade your phone and you won't be able to switch plans. In my opinion, I would appreciate the flexibility of going with a prepaid carrier. That way I can switch plans, carriers, or upgrade my phone at any time I want to. So what are the three deals I think are best? Number one, I love what AT&T is doing. I think it's awesome their deal works with any Galaxy phone in any condition. Deal number two, I would probably go with one of the options from the prepaid carriers, either Visible, US Mobile, or Mint Mobile. I personally love the flexibility of being able to upgrade my phone at any time or be able to switch plans at any time and not be locked into any carrier financing agreements. And my surprise deal number three is to consider getting a Galaxy S21 Ultra. You can currently find these going for as low as $645 on Swappa and going up to around $700 or $800. And honestly, I think that is a fantastic deal for an awesome phone. It's last year's model, but is it worth $400 or $500 extra just to get the S22? I personally don't think so. So that's my surprise deal number three. But what deal do you think is best? Let me know with a comment below. Click the like button if you found this video helpful and share this video with one friend 
who's thinking about getting the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Also, make sure you subscribe to save money on your cell phone bill. Thank you to these Patreon supporters for making videos like this possible, and thanks to you for watching. Boom!